welcome back to TM Academy. Okay, so for today, I will discuss the addition of vectors using Pythagorean theorem. So we will incorporate the concept of Pythagorean theorem in finding the sum of all vectors since we're adding vectors. Or we will incorporate the concept of Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant vector. We all know that the Pythagorean theorem is the common solution to solve a right triangle. So how do we incorporate that Pythagorean theorem to again to find the resultant vectors? Okay, so we can only apply uh, the Pythagorean theorem in finding the resultant vectors if and only if the given vectors are perpendicular with each other. So meaning the given vectors or the angle between uh, the given two vectors is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so again, we can only apply the Pythagorean theorem in finding the resultant vectors if and only if the given two vectors are perpendicular with each other or the angle between the two vectors is 90 degrees. For example, um, we have vector A. Let's say we have vector A is equal to 3 centimeters with a direction of say 0 degree or going east and another vector which is vector B is equal to let's say 4 centimeters with an angle of 90 degrees okay so again uh, the angle between the two vectors should be 90 degrees so let us graph first this vector You seeing the polygon method. Let's just try to graph it. Okay, so vector A is again has a magnitude of three centimeters with an angle of um zero degrees. So it is directed at positive x axis. Okay, so this is the vector A with a length of three centimeters. Then we have vector B um, with an angle of 90 degrees. So I will use, by the way, the polygon method to graph the given vectors so that the connection will be head to tail. So I will connect the vector B here at the head of vector A. Okay, this will be our vector B with a length of 4 centimeters. Okay, so the resultant vector or the sum of this vector A and B will be from here up to here. This is the sum of vector A and vector B or the resultant vector. Okay, which is unknown. We are going to find the value of this using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, the Pythagorean theorem states that c square is equal to a square plus b square. So we're in um, c is the hypotenuse of the right triangle and um, a and b are the legs of the right triangle so if we're going to incorporate this uh, formula pythagorean theorem to this triangle that is the resultant or vector r will be the hypotenuse of the right triangle and vector a and vector b will be the legs of the right triangle so that is the magnitude of a square or the vector a square plus the vector b square so if we want to compute the magnitude of the resultant vector you will take the square root both sides that is r is equal to the square root of vector a square plus the vector b square okay so the magnitude of r is equal to we have three centimeter quantity square plus the quantity of the quantity of four centimeters 
square and take the square root of this okay so r is equal to this is equal to the square root of three centimeter quantity square is nine centimeter square plus four centimeter square is sixteen and this is square root of 25 square centimeter so r is equal to 5 centimeter okay take note that this one is just the magnitude of the vector r or the sum of a and b we all know that we all know that a uh, vector is a uh, vector defines magnitude and direction so we need to find also the direction of the resultant vector we're in on the figure this will be the theta okay so this theta we need to relate uh, this theta to the given vectors a and b so what is the relationship of this theta to four centimeter that is the opposite side and this vector a will be the adjacent side okay so if you are familiar with the sokatoa okay we're in s stands for sine and o stands for opposite H stands for hypotenuse, A stands for adjacent side, C stands for cosine, and T stands for tangent. So if you're going to define the sine function that is opposite divided by the hypotenuse, then if you want to define the cosine function that is cosine divide cosine is equal to the adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and the tangent is equal to the opposite over adjacent adjacent. So here, it seems that we need to define the tangent function wherein the tangent theta is, again, is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent. Wherein the opposite side will be the value of uh, the magnitude of vector B, which is 4 centimeters, divided by the adjacent side, which is 3 centimeters. Okay, then if we're going to find the value of theta, we will take the arc on both sides. And that is theta is equal to the arc tangent of 4 centimeters divided by 3 centimeters. Okay, so this is equal to... Fifty-three point one one degree. Okay, so therefore, our resultant vector is equal to five centimeters in magnitude and with a direction of fifty-three point one degree. Okay, so on this figure, the value of this r, or the length of this vector, will be equal to 5 centimeters. And this theta, or the direction from the positive x-axis created by this r, is equal to 53.1 degrees. Okay, so again, um, you can only use the Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant vector if and only if uh, the given vectors form a 90 degree angle or if the given vectors are perpendicular with each other.
Thank you for watching.